Hi and welcome to the Through Night Channel. So today we're comparing five different flashlights. Starting on the left here, we have the brand new Through Night Catapult Mini V2. Then we have next to that the original Through Night Catapult Mini. Then this big guy in the middle here is the Through Night Catapult V6. This is the SST70 version. All right. Then we have the Olight Jabalot Mini. And on the end here, we have the Olight Seeker 3 Pro. So, some quick specs here, because everyone loves flashlights, but it always comes down to the price, right? Whether you're interested or not. So, on the left here, the brand new Through Night uh, Catapult Mini V2. This sells for $49.95. It has a high output of 1,108 lumens. Compared to the original Catapult Mini, um, this was $39.99 and has a high output of 680 lumens. So, quite a difference between the V2 and the original. Next up where we have the Monster Catapult V6 SST70. These sell for $74.99 and have a high output of 2,836 lumens. An incredible value for that price. Next up we have the Olight Javelot Mini, one of their newer models, very popular. These currently sell for $99.99 and they have a even 1,000 lumen output. Very well made. And then of course on the end here, the older uh, Olight Seeker 3 Pro. This is the highest output and the highest price on the table in this comparison at $139.95 and 4,200 lumens for the output. All right. So I'm going to individually go through the different UIs on these lights. We're going to head outside, take a look at the beam shots and see how they compare to each other, and then have a little conclusion. So first up, we have the Catapult Mini V2. What a fantastic new addition to Through Night's line of lights. Um, this is the uh, desert tan version, but there's also a black version. Okay, we see the button on the side here, very large head, even though it's a small light. All right, we do have a power indicator. Okay, so that will go red when you need to charge up. All right, very simple to use. Once you turn it on, push and hold. It's going to cycle through our modes. So we have low, medium, and high. Double click to go to turbo mode. All right, at any point in time, you can do a long press when it's off to get into that moonlight mode. All right, and then a triple click for strobe. Just a quick warning, if you have a problem with strobe, you might want to skip ahead. One, two, three, and there it is. Very straightforward, very simple. Take a look at the head here. Again, very large head and a very smooth reflector. All right, that combination is what allows this light to throw so far. We're focusing all that light into one little spot and projecting it out, all right? Fantastic new addition. All right, let's pop this guy open real quick. Take a look at that battery. All right, this is running on a uh, through night 1100 milliamp hour 18350. Okay, pop that back in. Now, of course, if you happen to have a separate charger, you can use that, but you do not need to. It comes with a USB cord, and we have the charging port on the side here, all right, which is USB Type C. You can see that. All right, really straightforward, really simple. I was a huge, huge fan of the Catapult Mini, and now having this uh, second version, which is even more capable, just awesome. Very, very excited about this one. All right, so going back to the original, the Catapult Mini, same deal pretty much in every aspect except for um, our reflector and lens is a totally different setup. This was focusing all that light, but it just happens to have less of an output. All right, now the, um, the original here is still $10 cheaper. So like I said, everything is the same with the V2 as the original, except for that lens setup and how it actually projects and of course its total output as well. So remember, this is 680 lumens compared to the 1108. So next up here, we have the Thrunite Catapult V6. Again, this is the SST70 version. And right there is why it's called the SST70, because that is the LED that is used in this light. Now backing up, we can see that we do have this very large head here. All right, and the very smooth reflector, that combination is what allows this light to project that light so far, okay? Really focus in on that beam and get as much distance as possible. All right, very cool light. Pop this guy open. Let's see our battery source real quick here. All right, this is a 26650, 5,000 milliamp hour. All right, and again, the same with the other ones. We have an external charging port right there. So you just plug that into a USB to charge. So you don't have to worry about you know, having different types of, you know, charging packs. Um, very simple. The UI is identical, all right, from off. We have our moonlight mode, okay, which is the longest runtime, the lowest mode. 
You just turn it on any point, push and hold. It'll cycle through, low, medium, high. Double click for turbo. So again, going to show strobe here. You might want to skip ahead if you have a problem with flashing lights. Uh, this one is not a triple click though. This is a double click, double click. So we have double click to go to our turbo mode and then in turbo mode, you could double click again to get the strobe, okay? Or whatever mode you're in, you do four clicks in a row. One, two, three, four, all right? Very simple, also has a power indicator as well into that button. What's nice about this as well is that it has a nice wide flat bottom, so it tail stands very easily, which is something that I very much look forward to uh, in different flashlights to have more variety so I can use it for emergency lights, you know, put these on different flat surfaces around my house in case it's a power outage or something. But classic design, you know, a lot of people at this point are familiar with the uh, the Catabolt V6 uh, from Night. just an awesome powerhouse. All right, so next up here is that Olight Javelot Mini, one of their newer options. Very cool light, very well made. We have the magnetic um, charging system on this, so you have USB to like a, a magnetic round piece, it just you know, magnetizes to the bottom here. All right, as far as the uh, battery source, let me take this cap off, show you that real quick. All right, you can see it has the Olight branded 18500. There's a 20, 40 milliamp hour battery. All right. And then to turn this light on, you just push the back. All right, I'm doing a half press right now. If I push all the way forward, we have the um, the full turbo mode, which again is a thousand lumens. All right, so we have temporary or momentary on. Then we just you know do a quick click, and we have that constant on. Very straightforward. That is it with this light. And last here we have the Olight Seeker 3 Pro. This one is a little bit more complicated. All right, so I'm coming in close here just to show you how this works. You push the button. All right, I'll turn the light on, but you can see we have a, a battery indicator on the right and we have a power indicator on the left. You can actually rotate this nozzle to raise the power, all right? So we have basically a um, you know ramping function built into the, the button itself, all right? Now, right now, it is blinking because the power just dropped down to 25%, so it's not allowing me to put this in the turbo, which would be the fourth light here. All right, I'll go ahead and charge this up before we head outside. But anyway, besides uh, using that ramping function, you can just push the button, all right, push and hold, and it'll cycle through, low, medium, high. Double click for the turbo, but in this case it's blinking to let me know we can't go into turbo. All right, pretty straightforward light. Um, as far as the same thing, we have the magnetic charging on the bottom, but the battery that's inside here is a 21700, 5000 milliamp hour. Again, this one does have the wide flat bottom, just like our Catapult V6. All right, so it does tail stand very nicely. And you can see what's different with this one than the other ones is that we have four individual LEDs. Okay, so this is much more of an area light in comparison to having a very focused beam for distance. All right, so this is closer, but more, more widespread light. And we'll see that when we do the beam shot. But again, I'm going to charge this up. So when I do my beam shots for these videos, all the lights are always on full power. So you see the full capability of them. All right, so I'm going to charge this Seeker 3 up. I'm also going to check the other lights, make sure that they're on full charge. And then we're going to head out, do a couple beam shots, and then we'll come in and give a little conclusion. All right, so first up here, we have the Catapult Mini V2. All right. So just for reference, the little group of trees right here in the front is probably 15 to 20 feet. The ones off to the uh, the right of them is another three or four feet or so. And uh, all the way where this tree is here, that is a little bit over 30 feet. Okay, so here it is in the middle. You can see very tight hot spot. This has a ton of throw, but still naturally plenty of spill because of the output. All right, let me give you an up, down, left. And right. Very impressive light. All right, so next up here is the original Catapult Mini. Okay, same thing right in the middle there. Go up, down, left, and right. So we have a similar beam pattern, although not nearly as much uh, of that spill, but very concentrated beam. Next up is the Catapult V6. This is the SST70 version. Okay. So obviously a lot more uh, output on this guy. 
Let's go up and down, left and right. Now this is a much bigger flashlight, much more capable. All right, next up here is the Olight Javelot Mini. Make sure that's on turbo. All right, up, down, left, and right. So this too has a nice tight hot spot in the middle, but still plenty of spill. And last up here is the Olight Seeker 3 Pro. Get that on turbo. Now this one does not have as concentrated of a beam or center hotspot. This is a little bit more opened up. Okay, so we have more of an area light here. Let's go up, down, left, and right. So there you go. Hopefully it gives you a nice idea of how these lights compare to each other. All right, so there you go, guys. Now, I have to say, you can't make a poor choice. I think that all five of these lights are phenomenal. They're all fantastic, extremely capable lights. The focus here is kind of the uh, release of the new Catapult Mini V2. I think it is awesome. Again, I'm such a fan of the original, and this is even more impressive. They both still have their place. Um, and again, this is gonna be a little bit more expensive, another $10, but I think for the extra $10, you're getting a heck of an upgrade as far as performance is concerned. But I still think that the original is still a very, very cool light to have. All right, the V6 um, SST70, this one is just a powerhouse. This has always been a favorite of mine. Uh, obviously a little bit big for the pocket, it's not gonna be your you know, go-to EDC light, but it's great for a vehicle, it's great for searching. If you're looking at animals, let's see, you know, if a bear in your area or if a cat went up a tree or something, you want to, you know, take a look up that tree. This has an amazing capability for throw, okay? This is a, a pocket thrower. Really, really cool for, I mean, this is so compact and so small in comparison. Uh, but obviously, you know, with all that extra power in the battery source, uh, we're able to get more light coming out at the end of it. Javelot Mini, very cool light, a little bit limited, but again, very well made, works totally fine. Also, you know, decent size for EDC. And the same goes with the um, Olight Seeker 3 Pro. Uh, a lot more versatility for an EDC style light. But if you have, you know, a bunch of different, like, you know, let's say random 18650 lights or 21700 lights for your EDC, and you want something that really reaches out, but it's tiny, that's where this one comes in. This, it used to be this one, but now, again, we have the upgrade, the second generation, the V2, and this thing is extremely, extremely capable and extremely impressive. Very, very cool flashlight. I don't see anything else on the market that quite compares directly to this. It's just really neat. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this video. If you're not familiar or new to the channel, Three Night does product giveaways. If you want to enter, it's completely free to you. All you have to do is comment on these videos and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.